Hello, my name is Pastor Sunday Joseph Adenuga, the pastor of Success Dimension Church, Ibadan, Nigeria. Speaking to you on the topic, Miracle in the Desert. Miracle in the Desert. What is a miracle? A miracle is a supernatural intervention of God in the affairs of man. When God intervenes and no man can explain how the, how the occurrence happened, then it's a miracle. A miracle is what is beyond science, what no man can explain. For example, when the Red Sea parted and the children of Israel passed through the Red Sea, that was a miracle. For another miracle is when Jesus Christ multiplied five loaves of bread and two fishes and used it to feed five thousand men and got back twelve basket full of remnants. That's a miracle. There is no science on the face of the earth that can explain that. That beats imagination. That beats science. That beats any calculation. That's a miracle. A miracle is the intervention of God in man's affair. A miracle is the power of God working in the life of man. A miracle still exists today. God has helped me and privileged me to see a lot of miracles happening in my life and in my ministry. And that is why I can make bold to tell you that miracles exist. Now, what is a desert? Because I'm speaking on the topic, miracle in the desert. The desert is a dry place. It is a place of unpleasurable experience. A place of unpleasurable experience. It's a place of lack. A place where you don't have enough. It is a place where you are rejected and forsaken. That is a desert. Are you presently going through the desert? Let me tell you. You cannot get to the promised land without passing through the desert. There is no successful man on the face of the earth that have not passed through one desert experience or the other. A time in every man's life when one way or the other is rejected. One way or the other is not loved. One way or the other, something just does not work out the way he wants. Are you passing through that time? Let me tell you the story of Agai. Agai was privileged to be the wife of Abraham, either by crook or by any means. She became the wife because she gave birth to a bouncing baby boy called Ishmael. And she was living in the house of Abraham. That was the height of success, to be the wife of Abraham. Can you, can you imagine the affluence of Abraham? A man who had many people trained in his house, who trained a mighty army in his house, an army that was able to dislodge about five kings put together who came to plunder Lot and his family. Abraham's servants alone went to fight with these people and he conquered them and won them and took back everything they took from Sodom and Gomorrah. And Abraham did not hire anybody from outside. He used the servant. Can you imagine the wealth of Abraham? A man who have an army in his house, trained and born in his house. That was the man to whom a guy was married to. And yes, Sarah threw her out. A woman that was living in affluence and wealth, now thrown into the desert. Is that Does that sound like you? If it sounds like you, there is miracle for you. Miracle for you today. When Agai was there in the wilderness, an angel of the Lord appeared to him. Just like God has told me and led me to give you this broadcast. Maybe this is an angel speaking with you. You don't know. There is water, he told Agai. And Agai looked and saw the water. Now, how do you get into the level of miracles? How do you experience miracles in the desert? I tell you three things. Number one, begin to do the unusual. 
begin from now to do the unusual. You cannot get unusual results. You cannot get unusual results doing the usual. To get the unusual result, you have to do the unusual. What are the unusual I expect you to do? Number one, pay your tithes. By paying your tithes, you will get unusual results. Titan is God's instrument for breakthrough and success. Pay your tithes to your church and the Almighty God is going to help you to succeed. Pay your tithes to your church. Secondly, you have to help other people. You have not been helping people. Help people to succeed. Help them to make it. Speak kind words to people. That's another thing. That's the unusual I want you to begin to do. Speak kind words. Words of encouragement. Words of happiness. Words that can build them up. These are the unusual things God expects you to begin to do. The second thing you have to do to experience miracle in your life is to encourage yourself in the Lord. Have you failed? Failure is not final. Failure is not a disgrace. It only means you need God's grace. David experienced it. When he came back from following the Philistines to Ziglag, and when he got to Ziglag, he found out that all his children and all his properties, which he has ever worked for in his life, had been cutted away, had been stolen away. Every one of them began to weep. 600 soldiers that followed him. And you know, soldiers hardly weep. But these soldiers wept. They wept bitterly because their children and their wives were stolen away. They wept bitterly. Why? Because everything they worked for in their life had been stolen away. But the Bible tells me that David encouraged himself in the Lord. Learn how to encourage yourself. Nobody can encourage you like you. Learn how to encourage yourself in the secret of your house, in the secret of your heart. The third thing you have to do to experience miracle in the desert is that you have to know that God will use what you have. God uses what we have. When he called Moses, Moses had a rod and that was all he had. And that was what God used. When, he, when the woman, the widow came to Elisha, he said, look, man of God, he said, my husband has a lot of debt. And now the creditors have come to take my children away. The man of God asked him, what do you have in your house? He said, I don't have anything save a pot of oil. It was the pot of oil that God used. God multiplied the pot of oil. When Jesus wanted to feed 5,000 men, it was what they had, five loaves and two fishes that he used. God will use what you have. What do you have? That is what God wants to use. Number four. So in tears, give and it shall be given unto you. God bless you. You can come back to this place and hear more of my broadcast. My name once again is Sunday Joseph Adenoga, the Pastor Success Dimension Church. You can contact me through this number plus 234 80 or Success Dimension Church dot com or success dimension church at gmail.com may the lord bless you in jesus mighty name thank you let me pray for you father in the name of jesus let your blessing rest upon this viewer now and forever in jesus name